Hey guys, I goofed on these. <clears throat> I didn't uh, record the uh, camera and stuff, so you're gonna get my kind of like my play-by-play -play thought process. Um, I forget who I'm playing here. Let's see. Because I played some pretty good people on this run. It was 66. Oh my god. What is that noise? <laughs> One click away. Go away. Okay. I don't know what was going on there. <laughs> Must have been something in the commercial. This was Miranda the Tempest. Um, I was a little bit scared of this. I thought it might, it might get out of control. So I went out and lightninged it. I love this board, too, by the way. Um, he ended up drawing me my answer. What is going on here? <laughs> Some happy sea nymph music. So I played Milena here, hoping he wouldn't pass, or hoping he would use his Radovid. I'm saying, ah, I can hit that if I need to. He ends up passing and screwing me over here. So I just went with the carryover with the, the Heime... Herbalist. The great mother's grace is bindless. We elves have our paths. Which I should have probably put it on the three so I can renew Kira Metz to kill it. So looking back on that, maybe that wasn't the best of ideas. <clears throat> I drafted this card not realizing that I had the ship the long ship combo with it um which is pretty sick i thought maybe he had weather so i, I ditched that and i wanted to bleed here because i have dandelion poet on renew i have a um a barbagazi I was like, well, I'll play Dandelion Poe, because that's probably going to be my renewed target. Vilgefortz. I think I ended up just playing the 8, just because it's junk. Up, oh, you know, 19 nothing, Pretty good. This card is so good in Arena. It's so good. I just said screw it and passed. I thought I was going to bleed here, but I forgot he played that. Um, we go in on even cards. I have last save with Goyot, so it's not too bad. And he plays the boat here, which was surprising. Um... He still has his Radovid, which kind of sucks. And I ended up dumping the armor smith, I believe. And I was like, oh, I can kill uh, Iris with the... I was scared of this. I uh, I was extremely scared, so I just hooved it. Even though I had Scorch, I was still scared of it. I didn't know if he had Swarm. Yeah, I was like, ah, I could have, I could have Scorched it in the end, but. So now we play our bear, which is pretty decent. I mean, it's as good as dead. That 
he plays that. So that's my Vilgefortz target, that assassin. I played it here because if he had gold weather, it would tick. Yeah, we had we we traded shots pretty good here. I went for the DJ, and I got some pretty good. Uh, I got good pulls, but I should have waited on it. I played the long ship there because I still want to Vilga forts it. I should have waited on the DJ. I should have definitely waited. So I play Vilgefortz. An interesting choice. And I get the weather clear, which was this huge. Land, Dwan, upon which your kind dies. I mean, absolutely huge. My renewed target's poet, for sure. It's a sick Igni right there, but Igni's not good in arena. <laughs> Follow me this way. This this card actually comes up really huge, man. Uh, a, a couple times in my run that people played it against me, and I'm like, really? I didn't know what to run here, so I went with the poet. I didn't see anything that was a threat right now. I thought about doing the the armor for Kira Metz. I end up getting Blue Dream, and I play it, and he has no golds. <laughs> that was so bad. So bad. Like, I could have killed DJ Extra and played him again with Blue Dream. I was so mad at myself. I'm like, oh my god. I was so pissed. <laughs> I'm just thinking to myself, oh, it's Arena. He's got something in there. Nope. He didn't have a single gold in his graveyard. Now this got scary. I did not know what to do with this thing. So I had to play Goliath to kill it and if he killed it he killed it but i had no way around this like this thing was a hammer just waiting to happen i'm thinking like is monster nest is there anything i can do with monster nest i would have even if i didn't use uh, artifact impression i would have even used the uh, epidemic <laughs> just to get rid of it yeah i'm checking i'm like no there ain't nothing there man nothing and all he has to do is buff it. I'm like, oh, where'd my cards go? I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, there's, they're right here. I just played Goliath. I, I panicked. I was like, I don't know what to do. I gotta get rid of that thing. It's gotta die. Not playing around Igni again. Watch this thing get hammered, though. I mean, hammered. It's 19 strength right now. I'm like, oh, okay. Watch this. Thank God it died, man. Thank God it died. Poor Goliath. Getting blasted from 19 to 2. I was like, well, 
I guess this is my time to scorch. I didn't really have any other options there. It's still 13 points. I mean, he's still up, though, which is, like, sad. I mean, it's tied right now, but... The only thing saving me is, uh, is a ghoul. And I need to get Iris off. If I don't get Iris off, I'm toast. So he uses his Radovid. I play my ghoul. I think I eat a nine. Yeah. So he's got two cards, I got two cards, but my card's super conditional. If he has any type of answer for that iris, I'm screwed. He killed my, uh, I was like, what'd he kill? He killed that boat. So we're going to play iris. Last card. It wouldn't even have been close if I would have been able to, uh, get off that blue dream but uh yeah wasting that one card it was way way closer than it should have been <laughs> i'm trying to hit good game again uh yeah that was that was five wins right there um but uh yeah guys um i gotta commentate these next couple because i goofed but thank you for watching we'll see you soon all right, this was the sixth game. Uh, this is against Ruben. I, uh, I actually play him twice. Um, this game was pretty hilarious. Um, the way everything all went down. I threw away the thing, the the Mahakam Marauder. I had the combo right there. <clears throat> he was taking a minute here. Um, getting things going <laughs> uh -oh. trouble approaches I was scared of this one so I, I quarreled it I could have um, I could have dueled it but I thought maybe I can get a better dual target and I did, uh, Darren. Rest in peace. Champion of champions. Thank you. Thank you. I was like, well, I'll play the bomber. I could have used uh, the wyvern, but I was like, man, that seems like such a waste. Um, Your bet will avenge us, Duan. He has a good answer for it, too. I never miss. One point archer. That was really good. And he gets to keep it ticking. I had to take it out now. I'm like, ah. Uh, I can't let it go no more. I went ahead and used the Drowner. I couldn't let that thing go on anymore.
it's just too dangerous. It just keeps going and going and going. It's like it's like a warship. It just long ship. It just keeps going and going and going, man. I was saving that necker out in case they had weather. This was a big play here. He ate my bear. I was kind of mad about that. Um, I went ahead and played the warship. If he passed here, I was going to play Necker at uh, Blood Moon. <laughs> he pulled out the Vainglory. I'm like, oh, man. It's like, well, time for the DJ. And it wasn't a a horrible DJ. Um, I just hit the wear cap, but I should have here actually hit uh, Dijkstra because I could have done it again. Scorch was real right there, but I I didn't have it. So I went ahead and Vilgaforts. And burn the uh, and this wasn't a great pull at all. Death to old one. I got up by one. This was super sad right here, though. Um. He ignies me for 48. I'm like, okay, well, I'll... I'll neck her at the back row. Three points down. But if I play my leader, I lose my win condition. And I had nothing to renew, and there was no golds in the graveyard. <laughs> so this was a super bad math moment right here. Um, it, uh, I was hoping he played. I was like, please, just play one more card, and I'll be happy. I was thinking, oh, he could pull back that uh, thing. I'm like, two points. Couldn't do it. I didn't have any other plays. I, I I lose my win condition if I play Gulia, and I'm like, I just need him to play one more card, and he didn't. Vainglory was good. I got rid of Melina, and I mean, hey, you got all golds. You can't go wrong. Um, the quill is mightier I got kind of lucky here. And but I goofed again. I uh, should have. I should have used. Uh, I was like, oh yeah, I should have used it on uh, the three. Because I could have renewed Dandelion Poet. All golds. <laughs> I mean, you can't uh, you can't go wrong there. I um, I want to say I just went with DJ. I was like, ah, is it really worth it to pull that six? I'm like, nah. So I blue dream. And I get. Unfortunately, I get uh, Goliath off my pull. So I, I'm like, ah, I don't know what I'm going to pull now. He had Wilmar, which was really weird. Um, so on this turn, I decided to renew um, Vilgaforts to burn that one. 
it seemed like a pretty good play. I had to check to see what they did. It's been so long since I've seen them. One thing I noticed, even though I probably did the worst blue dream play of all time, uh, I do think a little bit more when I'm playing arena because there's so many things you got to play around and your deck's totally different every time. And I draw Iris. I'm like, I could kill it with uh, Kira Metz. So I'm okay with it. My biggest problem right now is the Scorch in my hand. I, uh, I was afraid here of thing. I should have scorched there. Got business for me. So I play Croc and Crate. I should have scorched him for eighteen. Eighty-five. I can help you if you wish. He's got to discard two cards here. I should have scorched him, though. I ended up just doing the Who am I? super sad epidemic. for three points. Oh, it ended up hitting those two over there. That's right. It was a six-point epidemic. Five points. He needs 40 points and two cards. He had dead Kahir in his hand. But, uh, that was six wins, I believe. Pretty good. Game seven, rematch versus Ruben. This one was a, this one was pretty crazy too. Slave hunter's so bad. It's like I hardly ever get anything unless I knock down something that's carryover. So I go first. Throw the bear out there. Show me the coin or sod off. Once again, coral target. I can do a great deal more for you. Yeah, this was the seven game. Giant Toad. This was a massive swing here. 17 strength Giant Toad, and he ate Saskia Blaze. I'm like, whoa. What just happened? I was thinking about using the Werecat, and I'm like, ah, you know. I, I, actually, I think I did. Because I get it down to 11, and I'm like, okay, now I could duel it. And then he ate that, <laughs> which sucked. So, and then here comes probably the worst. No, this one isn't pretty bad. For you, my friend, always. This time I'm like, okay, he doesn't, he hasn't played any golds yet. Let's not play Dandelion uh, or Blue Dream yet. Figured I could steal a two. Thirteen, twelve. 
Yeah, this is the DJ. This thing was so bad. Oh no, this one wasn't too bad. I got this, and I'm thinking, oh no, I'm gonna steal Iris. He gets the Gaunter here, which is pro plays right here. If only that could have got me up one more point. Uh, I just said screw it though. I'm going to champion of champions here. Kill Iris. Go up by 84. He played this, and I'm like, okay, I'm out, man. If you can pull 25 points in one card, do it. Yeah, I really goofed on these. I, like I said, I was in a tournament, and uh, they didn't want the camera or noise on. Just the background noise. He passed. So I won on even. He has no carryover. I got a drone rush. I'm like, ah, nah. So I was like, well, I can bleed them pretty good. I mean, I got a, we're on even cards. I got a monstrous last play. This is Elven Land, Dwarf, upon which your kind dies. So I was like, well. I'll try and keep it. I'm up one point here. Not too bad. And then I'll heal it. It's like, okay. Swords up, wenches. Get yourself an axe. Nine points of carryover isn't too bad. As long as he doesn't kill it. If he kills it, I'm like, okay, that's good. I'm out. Nine points of carryover. I got uh, all golds in hand. I mean, all golds in hand, man. <laughs> Nothing a mulligan there. I was nervous of this. This made me real scared. I was like, wait, he pulled a Skellige stone. Which was really weird. I was like, alright, well, we'll Vilga Forts that. Get rid of those Wilmars. And I get the boat. Which is decent. I mean, it's an engine. Probably shouldn't have played him on that row, because there's that two damage thing on the other side. I'm thinking he's gonna pick this up and play it again. Patience is not a virtue I am known to have. He played dandelion again, and he pull he did pull back thing. I'm like, oh man, he's got like Triss butt or something. I'm gonna get blown back. I'm checking to see if there's anything worth running over DJ. There's not. And I, at first I decided to go with uh, Dandelion. I figured Dandelion was better. There wasn't nothing to Coral. Bad feeling about this. And I decided to go with the... Uh, go with the Moonlight. Get some uh, Get something ticking, you know? Blood Moon wasn't worth it. I thought about it, and I'm like, nah, it ain't worth it. I'm just going to end up damaging my own stuff. This thing's going to keep going. I 
I'm just mostly hoping for something that's going to be able to get coraled. Place another one, which is hilarious. I don't really have a play yet, so. Arena Africa, here we come. I thought about lightning, and then I was like, well, I'm going to get hit anyways if he kills those. I feel honored. So I went with the Thunderbolt potion to keep my... Keep Vilgaforts up for a couple turns. Save a little bit of strength. He ended up getting a bear out of that, which was pretty scary. But it, it gave me a coral target, which was nice. I kept stacking on that row, which I shouldn't have been. I should have just kept everything on the moonlight row. That might even be amusing. 68. I don't even think he had enough here to top 70. No, he didn't. So we just passed. Eight wins, one away, one away.